very practical, I think. I don't even know where to start, Callum. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel. Me and Callum this morning have been to Ikea, which will have been featured in a vlog. Um, but now I'm coming to you with the haul. So I have one big blue bag here, and one big, I'm trying to see this one, big blue bag here. And I'm gonna go through everything that we bought. All of this stuff, well, it's all little bits. It's all stuff that you don't need to know where you're living to buy um, so we thought that we'd just break up the cost and buy it over a couple months um, yeah just to break it down so that when we do have a place we don't have to then go out and buy and spend loads in one go I don't even know where to start oh, Callum. I'm gonna start with this one okay so first of all first thing that I'm grabbing I got one of the sucker um, little washer things for the kitchen sink um, I realised that this is probably something you would buy when you're about to move in. But I've seen them everywhere, these suckered ones, and I've not been able to find one in like home bargains or anything. Item number one. Item number two. I got three of these cork heat pads. They were £2. Um, I'm going to try and reference roughly how much things were. I think this was a pound or like £1.25. It was no more than £2. Um, but these set of three cork heat proof mats were two pounds for the three um, and I just thought they would be ideal because we don't have anything that's heat proof and obviously we want to protect benches and things when we do have a place so I thought I'd get them very practical I think it's actually not as much in this box that I thought in this bag I've got some of the standard peg ties I've already got some but I, I like to have a big collection because everything will be peg tied um, I've got two of the I think these are 2.3 litre. So two 2.3 litre um, containers for cereal. So obviously one can be my cereal, one can be Callum's cereal. And then we also bought a little one and this is a 1.3 litre. Um, Cause Callum gets a really small bag of fuel cereal. Um, so we thought that that would work in this one. And then my Weetabix can be a side one. Next we got our tea, coffee and sugar containers and they're all exactly the same. So these were four, I think this was £2.50 and I think these were 3 50 each. So that's them. Then we got tea, coffee, sugar, these were £4 each and they're literally just a really nice kind of, I don't even know what texture because they're kind of matte but they don't feel matte. But anyway, they are literally just nice little suction top tea, coffee, sugar. And I'm not sure whether I'll label them or what yet, but I feel like, to be honest, just the three of them will look really nice together as a whole. And then the last thing in this bag, I told you there wasn't a lot in there, is we picked up some glasses. Yeah, these are going to be our drinks glasses. I think that we need to pick up... Callum said beer glasses, I've said wine glasses, and then I want to get a couple plain white mugs just to fill out the mug section. But in terms of glasses, I got four of these nice ones like this. Four of the bigger ones. And then I picked up two of these slightly smaller ones. Um, yeah, because I feel like I drink... Callum will always have a big glass, but I do like to have a little glass. That, you know what this will be nice for? Orange juice or apple juice in the morning, when you just want a little bit. But if we go back and we fancy some more of them, we can always do so then. Oh god, I don't know where to put it. The object that is sat by itself. Actually, how much are them cups? I think the little ones were 150 each of the glasses and the big ones were two pound each. So it's not horrendous really. And I like these ones because they're quite a thick glass. There was a few that we saw that were really nice and they look, but the ones that are kind of, um, smaller at the top and they kind of pair out at the bottom bulge out um but they were really thin fine glass and i just know that i will break the glass um or knock it or something or other so yeah that's why we went for them ones because they were nice and thick and just a bit different so this set here was 20 <gasps> this is why i don't carry things 25 pounds we were going to buy them individually um 
I mean, you you basically save a little bit of money on this by getting six of everything, and we were just going to buy four of everything. Um, so we just thought, let's just go for the set, and then it's all actually packed really nicely, so it should all stay rather safe. So you've got six bowls, six small plates, six big plates, and it's kind of in like that kind of a really pale grey to cream, like an ecru kind of colour. Um, and yeah, I love them. They're rather nice. And I like the fact that the plates are just like one, there's no dips or dents in the plates or patterns or anything. They're just one thing. And they're lovely. Oh God. Now onto the next bag. <coughs> Callum got a charger for his van. I got these, which I am actually gonna, I'm gonna open now because they're not for the house really, they're for me. Um, so I basically picked up this set, it was £5 and it is draw dividers, draw organisers. Um, oh lovely, so I've got a, you get a square one, I think there's two of each, a much more narrow one, another of the same narrow ones and then two tiny square ones and then another big square one. So yeah, two narrow, two little square, two big square. And I'm gonna work them into my drawers because I've started kind of folding and stacking everything so I can see everything that I've got um, rather than like piling them and then never getting the use of anything. Wooden spoon was the first of the kitchen utensils that I can see. We picked up a nice pan because we have a wok, we have a steak griddle pan we have a set of three saucepans but we didn't have a frying pan so we picked up this nice sized one it looks like it must be a non-stick it looks like it's a non-stick anyway it's got that texture on it um, and it's got a nice silicone handle as well so yeah very happy with that pan the pan was eight pounds I believe I think pounds eight pounds I think this was about 30p should I actually have a look to see how much the wooden spoon was? So I actually, I think this was £1.25. Spoon. Then we picked up two chopping boards. To be fair, we um, ummed and ahed about the chopping boards and which ones we wanted to get. Because there was all sorts of different shapes and sizes and thicknesses. Um, but anyway, we ended up going with like a matching pair. So we got, so the big chopping board was £9 and the smaller chopping board was £4.75. Um, so we got this kind of colour. Um, we were going to go for another one, but it was a little bit darker and more orangey. And I just thought that this one was a little bit nicer than the other. Um, I mean, it's just a chopping board. Yes, yeah, so this one is actually quite a big one, but I feel like it's a perfect bread chopping board because I hate crumbs. Um, so yeah, very good size, £9 nice and sturdy Callum loves the chopping boards and then we picked up this smaller one mainly because when I do dinners if there's ever any garlic bread or something on the side like onion bajis or something I like to pop them onto like a little wooden board and pop them as like a little share plate in the middle I suppose the big one can be used for that as well if there's more than just me and Callum picked up this gorgeous little pot it was the first thing I saw when we went in this was three pounds and basically um I've already got two pots in the home box and I wanted three all together um, one is just completely white and smooth another one I got as a freebie in the village and it's um it looks like a little pleated effect one it's got little dots and then this one is obviously got like the pleated edge and then dots all over so I just thought that the three of them together would make a nice little combo we bought a set of knives and forks, which I absolutely love. This is a set. They are Smack Glad, if anybody wanted to reference that. S-A-M-A-K-G-L-A-D. You get six small spoons, six big spoons. The big spoons look absolutely huge. Four forks and four knives. And yeah, they're just a really nice set. And I wanted something that had a decent handle on because I hate knives and forks that hurt when you hold them how first world of me finally we have the utensils that we picked up there was quite controversy controversy over which of the utensils we should pick up because to be honest there wasn't like a whole set it would be so much easier if they just had a bundle for each of the um the sets but then each of the bundles was different and then i feel like you just couldn't get all the utensils that i wanted 
anyway, yeah, it, it was a long process, all right? So we ended up picking up black pizza cutter, nice and simple. I mean, sometimes, to be fair, I, I normally use scissors, but it's always good to have one. Um, we picked up one of the nice standard typical bottle openers, but also a wine corker. -er. Not that I've ever had to cork a wine, but you never know if you have some snazzy guests around. Um, so I picked up one of them. And you can imagine that all of these were pretty cheap. £1, £2, £3, give or take. This set was 25 then the other ones we got, we got a nice silicone black handle mashed potato masher. Looks rather fancy. Intrigued to see how well it mashes. Um, but yeah, it is nice and I like a soft handle when you're mashing. We picked up another one in the same kind of style which is like spatula I'm going to go for. Like yeah, that's that's a nice like spatula type um, piece of equipment there. Um, stainless steel whisk, always handy. Um, and this fat off, I suppose this is going to be good for like soup, stews, all of the things that you Callum hates. But yeah, a really nice ladle. Um, it's good for pancake mixture, I suppose. So yeah, we got them three because they all matched the whisk. And then we did get a little um, like charcoal grey set of plastic utensils. And in this you get um, a little coop, a little ladle you get one of the pasta um you know like a pasta spoon that you can like serve pasta with that grabs all like the spaghetti and stuff um you get this nice long spatula and then you get a pair of um tweezery things pincers what are they called what are they called we're gonna go with food tweezers um so yeah a nice little pair of food tweezers in there probably not the sturdy of food tweezers but i love everything else and that, my friends, is the end of, oh god, is the end of the Ikea haul. We have since made a list of some of the things that we've missed or not been able to get. Um, and I think that we will probably have a secondary trip to Ikea at some point between now and September. Um, to collect those bits and then the bits that we can't get, I'm hoping over the next couple months to gather from probably Amazon. Then it'll be left down to when we are in somewhere to gather the actual fitting pieces because this is just the kind of, I don't even know what you'd call this. This is just the, the, the underworks that nobody sees in a household. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. Let me know what your favourite piece was down below and I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.